guys, how are you going? My name is Kate. Pretty much today I am filming my first beauty related YouTube video. I decided to create a YouTube because I've had people message me before being like, oh, do you have a YouTube channel? And I never really just thought about doing one. I didn't really think it was for me. But a quick little poll on my Instagram story, I kind of just asked, did you guys want me to do YouTube and continue to do my Instagram or just stick to Instagram? And pretty much everybody voted YouTube and Instagram. Only one person voted against. So I was like, well, why not? <laughs> it gives me something a little extra to do. So here it is. So pretty much the first thing that I decided to do is something that really showcases my personality, something that's a bit fun, um, not too serious. I've seen so many videos on YouTube and all of these gurus and everything, they're mixing all of their nail polishes together, all of their liquid lips together. So I thought I'd do something pretty similar. So what I've done is grab every single one of my lip products and group them together and I'm just gonna mix all of them together. I'm not gonna separate like matte drying liquid lips, lip glosses, lipsticks. I'm just gonna mix them all together and see what happens. But here I've got like all of my more drugstore lippies. In this bag here, I've got all of more my like high end, um, more of my favorites in here. So in this bag, I've got my Kylie Cosmetics, I've got my Jeffree Star, I've got Colourpop. Pretty much I'm gonna mix together all of the drugstore items first. For this video, I didn't really come well equipped or prepared. From when I used to make my own glitter eyeshadows, I've still got a few pans left. So I'm thinking that I might try, this seems really tiny, but I'm gonna try put it all into a little eyeshadow pan. I have no idea how it's gonna set, but then I'll set, maybe I'll like put it in a Ziploc bag. I really don't know. And I don't really have anything to mix it either. So I, I grabbed a really pointy pair of tweezers. I grabbed a kitchen knife to cut the lipsticks. All right, so I have put a towel down. I'm gonna re-angle the camera and I'm gonna pretty much just try jump into it. <laughs> so all of the first products I'm gonna do, I've chucked into this little container here. I'm pretty much just gonna go ham and start going straight for it and try mix it as I go and we'll see how this works out. There are so many pink and red shades. So, so far I think it might end up being like a super rosy color. I feel like I mostly have a lot of nudes and pinks. So yeah, we'll just finish up the rest of these ones and see how it looks when I mix it together. So I finished putting all of my cheaper brand lipsticks into the pan. There are 24 different colors in here. So pretty much I'm going to use my tweezers, mix them together and see what we've got so far. And then after that's mixed together, I will move on to my higher end stuff, the stuff I use more often. They're mostly liquid lips. So it's going to be very interesting on how I put them in here because it's already so messy looking. And I feel like I'm going to get a lot of product on different ones. So pretty much so far we've turned out with a really rosy pink color. It'd be really interesting to see how all of these products change this color here. Alrighty, so again I'm going to adjust the camera so that it's facing down at the little pan and then you're just gonna watch me put all of these into this trusty bad boy and we'll see what we end up with. So I mixed them all together, the color's still super rosy, so pretty much all of the Jefferies that I have are pinks and nudes, there's just one yellow, so I didn't really expect the color to change too much. And next I'm going to put my Kylie's in, and this is where I think it's going to start to look a little crazy, because I have blues and a black. After mixing in the Kylie's, it didn't actually go ugly. It's actually really pretty. Uh, I got like a 
kind of like a really pretty like mauvey maroon color I actually love it I thought that the blues and the black would really turn it weird but it just made it uh, like really pretty and deep it's like a super rosy color I just love that I don't know why I picked white to wear to do this experiment because my hands are like getting covered in lipstick I keep just wiping it on the towel that's fine. That's what the towel's here for. The last lot that I'm doing, it's gonna be like all of my ColourPop lipsticks. I've got some liquid lips in here. I've got my MAC, I've got some lip glosses. So I'm going to finish it off with all these ones. Hopefully it gives it a bit more volume and thickens it up. Wow, there's a plane. Mm. I kind of actually think we're gonna end up with a shade pretty similar to the one we mixed last time. Just cause as I'm noticing with all of these here, they almost look identical to the shade I have in the middle. In counting, I just mixed together 61 different lip products. There was lipsticks in there, there was matte lipsticks, there was matte liquid lips, there was lip gloss. I have no idea what kind of finish this is going to have. The final product wasn't too much different to the second time I mixed it together. This also represents the medium, like the average shade of lipstick that I have. It kind of makes me feel like I need to branch out a bit. And I guess what's left to do is put it on my lips. I'm going to wipe off my lipstick, I'm going to clean my hands, probably the tools as well, and then I will come back and I will put on my crazy morphed weird lip gloss matte finish i don't know whatever and see how it is <laughs> so i just realized i don't actually have a lip brush to put this on so i'm going to go through this big bag of all of the makeup that i don't wear anymore and i'm gonna see if i can find something that has a lip brush in here It was in like one of my little Napoleon thingies. Right, so I'm ready. I've taken off all of my lipstick and now I am going to put on my crazy mutant shade. <laughs> so it's a nice consistency. It's not too thick. I don't know why I did look for a lip brush earlier. I could have used that to mix it. That's kind of annoying. Whoa, it is super thick. Now that I have this shade on, I actually really like it. I feel like it really complements my skin tone and looks really good. As for the finish, it looks super glossy. I'm actually kind of digging it. The finish looks really glossy, but it doesn't feel super glossy. It kind of just finishes more like a thick, regular, like creamy lipstick. At the same time, on my lips it feels more of a matte so it's not super hydrating and it really feels like it's it'll last and it won't wear off it's four o'clock right now in about an hour i'm going out to a birthday party and i suppose fingers crossed for some good results because i actually am really digging this shade so that concludes this section and i will see you all in a little bit <laughs> hey guys how you going so it is around six hours later so pretty much like all night i've been drinking bottled water um, i had a huge feed i had some like curry and rice and naan bread it's like a little patchy in some places but um overall i actually think it stayed on really well must say i'm pretty impressed and it has definitely gone to a more matte feel without making my lips too dry. Like I can definitely feel it's matte. I can't really like rub my lips to try fix it or anything. So I can definitely say I'm probably gonna wear this again, 100%. Loved it, it stays on really well. Like I've eaten and everything and it's just, it's fine. Like it's in six hours and it still looks this good. I'm not complaining at all. I hope you guys liked my crazy experiment as much as I did. And I also hope that you enjoyed watching my first ever beauty related YouTube video. So please 
give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, bye!